Schneider has been nicknamed the real-life Lorax by National Geographic and Einstein of the treetops by the Wall Street Journal. She has pioneered treetop canopy research, oversaw the construction of the Mayaka Canopy Walkway, and is the former director of Selby Gardens. Dr. McLaughlin, would you speak to So I want to call up to the stage, if you are 16 and under, bring your poster, and I have a prize for you at the end of my talk. You must stand up and come up front because you guys are the future! I'm sure you all know them by heart, right? <laughs> but I will read them just in case you don't. One is climate change, one is infectious disease, one is biodiversity, another is land use, another is biogeochemical cycles, which really means clean water, um, and the last is invasive species. Well, guess what? Florida has all of those. You can move to North Dakota and they are not worried about sea level rise, but we in this state have so much at stake, so these kids deserve the best science possible. Florida needs to be a hub for great scientists, and I want to make a little shout out for girls in science. Because <laughs> Material. We not only owe these kids to keep Florida great with science, but it's a global challenge, so we all have to accept that together. Science is our best weapon if young people, families, and politicians are able to make good decisions about your personal health, about climate change, and the sustainable use of our planet. We need to know what affects the chemistry of the ocean. You need to understand why tropical rainforests are essential to keep you alive, and how millions of years is required to cr create petroleum from dead plants, heaven forbid. And you even need to know how to identify poison ivy if you want to have a great time. So for this Earth Day, let's pledge to share science with your children, or your grandchildren, or someone else's grandchildren for the rest of the year, especially girls. Great birthday gifts for kids include binoculars, microscopes, chemistry kits, rubber boots for exploring streams, or maybe a butterfly net. Climb trees, visit the Mayanka Canopy Walkway. Watch a spider, Watch a spider build a web, or maybe find some ants in the cracks where you're sitting right now. Or maybe you can pick some wildflowers for your kitchen table. These simple activities create connections to engage kids with the science around them, and it also inspires us as adults. So my last three take-home words are the three S's. Science sustains solutions. Thank you very much.